this where the poop goes? <laughs> this is where the poop goes. <laughs> it pretty much just like that. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Got a good one for you today. We're gonna to be installing our septic system. And what you see here is this wonderful purpose-built truck slash crane installing our thousand gallon septic tank. You can see the influent line there and the effluent line is off to the right, but this thing is cool. They just back right up and a boom extends out from this truck and that acts as the crane to just drop this heavy concrete tank into place and once it's set in uh, the hole is all dug by our excavator friend that's been helping us out Dwayne Stevens and then he's there helping set it into place and I showed up a little bit later so I missed the first part of this install but my wife and kids were there to make sure they stayed on track for those of you that have never seen it I figure maybe I'll give you a tour of a septic system I've never seen one being put in or kind of in real life, so this is fun and learning. And I like to learn. It's like turn you around. So there is the exit for all of our various uh, components from the house. So uh, washer, drain there, and then the bathroom components there, and then this is our kitchen sink. They all go to a main line, exit here, to this line, into the septic tank here. There's two sides to this. I'm gonna hop in. Go down, that's where the septic comes in. And then it can communicate into the other side. Over there. And so you can see that is the exit hole. Over there. So it exits over there. That box there will get hooked up that side and those holes go to what's called the leach field. I'll do an explanation of that or a picture of that later. There you got to see my oldest son uh, asking Dwayne a few questions uh, as he was hooking up the influent line to the tank. So this comes right off of the house as I discussed and we're hooking it all up. So Dwayne's inside of the tank right now. He's hooking up a uh, little downcomer in there to make sure that everything is directed to the bottom of the tank. And now he's covering it back up with the manway cover and he's gonna start to digging out. So here he's gonna be um, getting the effluent line established, so the line that comes out of the tank. Uh, ultimately, that'll go to a diffuser box, and I'll describe a little bit more here in a minute what that is. But for now, you can just kind of watch us do the layout of the septic field. So there's three 50-foot runs that we're putting in for the leach field. And those 350 foot runs will all have interceptors in there um, that you'll get to see us put in. It's a really simple system, surprisingly simple. And here you can see the three lines that we laid out. One, two, and three. They're all 50 foot lengths and they are six foot apart. And we'll just dig down and put the leach components inside of these trenches and then backfill it here in a moment.
here we're just laying out the effluent line that will ultimately go to the distribution box. And that's now laid there uh, to my right as I'm walking through the trench. And I've just got the, uh, the grade stick that's uh, measuring the level so that we know that we're digging a nice level trench. And the first run is installed just like that. Uh, backfilling, we're hooking up the diffusers to the uh, distribution box there. And now we're digging the center trench. keep mentioning how simple the system is uh, other than getting everything flat and level it's these five foot lengths that just snap together there's no uh, like hardware involved or anything like that you just put them right on top of the soil and that just serves as a distribution center for all of the wastewater that then goes out into the the ground there because this is all going to be buried before too long here it is leave the septic tank 45 to 22 to the distribution box. So the water comes in here into this chamber and then it's distributed amongst these three runs. So there's one already going off that way, down 50 feet. This is the second run connected, runs 50 feet. And then the orange line there is the third that we still have to install out here. And then down there 50 feet. And that's all there is to it. You just dig a hole and put some pipes in it and a tank with special chambers. So the poo stays on one side and gets eaten by some bacteria. And then the water, cleaner water, goes out and gets filtered in your leach field. Pretty smart technology. Because it just works. I still really want an excavator. <laughs> And here we are installing the third and final run. I finally started to gain some proficiency here, so I was able to help out uh, doing the rest of the run and the, the final run while Dwayne was in the excavator. Uh, so I provided him a little bit of assistance, but uh, he pretty much was the mentor. It's too exciting not to share. Of course, I had to test it. Uh, I didn't poop anywhere. I don't have really anywhere to send it, but I do have all these cool little spots. Let me turn you around. Where the washer and dryer is gonna, or where the washer is gonna go, the toilet, our clean out, the kitchen sink, uh, the bathroom drain is in there, and then the kitchen sink. And I figured if it drains from the farthest one away, because it kind of goes in a loop starting from that one around the perimeter all the way. So if it drains from that one, it's gonna drain from all of them. So I dump some water in there, and guess what? Kind of hard to see, but there it is. Water came out the drain. Folks, that's a working septic. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, I'm loving it. I gotta get out Dwayne's way so he can finish filling everything in. But this is probably cool. I just love learning new stuff. And I kind of always knew roughly how septic things work, but I'd never seen one installed or put one in myself. And now I can uh, now I can say I have. And it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, folks, that's it. It's the end of the day. A uh, few things got done. Let me show you. Septic is in. It's covered. It's a little ugly right now, but Dwayne will be back tomorrow with his big excavator. He's going to pull some poplar stumps back there, a couple of maple stumps, and an ash stump. And then he's going to grade all this and make it look nice and pretty. Knock down a few of the smaller trees. That way I can mow and keep this nice uh, and free of trees so our leach field will always work. Uh, so all this stuff will get pushed around. It'll look pretty. And then our camper will go on this side so we can use the septic. And with that, we have a wrap to our story for today. Oh, summer's officially here. The deer flies are here. It's hot in central New York. Uh, the last couple days have been brutally humid uh, and hot. And I think it's been a heat wave everywhere else here in this early parts, late parts of June, early parts of July. Uh, but today was actually a pretty favorable day. 
uh, reasonable temperatures, but most importantly, the humidity was down. So I'm gonna go grab a shower, pick up my boys, hang out with them. Y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy uh, your time with your friends and family this wonderful summer. We'll be in touch on the next video, hopefully showing some water uh, or some sawmilling. Can you imagine the sawmill? I can't wait to get on that again. Anyway, thanks for following along. See you in the next video. Goodbye.